I'm going to show you guys how to find the exact part that you need. For instance, my drag link for so my steering. I brought steering. this thing downstairs so I can start hammering with my vice. And I banged it so hard I busted my vice. That's not good. Oh boy. I guess I'll have to bring it upstairs and bang it on the floor. I don't know if this is going to work, guys. I might have to order a new bar. It's just so strong I can't bend it back and it doesn't look like it's going to make much difference either, you know? I'll go to my sticker on my tractor, find that number, plug that number into Google and you'll find a result, usually Sears Parts Direct. Click the link and you'll find your exact tractor with the associating assembly diagrams. Pick the steering assembly area and they'll blow it up for you. Find the part which is the left drag link number 61. Click number 61 and you'll see the parts number 194740. Put that number on eBay and you'll see about how much people are selling it for. To me, 30, 40, 50 bucks is too much money for me, so I'm not going to buy it. That's how you look up the exact part for your particular tractor. Speaking about parts, I just bought these uh, two seat covers on uh, eBay. These were really cheap, guys. I mean, I've bought seat covers before. For instance, one for my husband over here. I think I paid about um, $21 for that one. It's just a generic seat cover. It is cushioned. It's elastic. It has elastic on the bottom here so that it wraps around pretty much any seat. And it is cushioned. It's uh, waterproof, vinyl, or nylon. <clears throat> it also has like little pockets in the back where you can put crap in. You know what I'm saying? So this seat was completely trashed, but it looks much better now um, for 20 bucks. Um, the Husqvarna that my buddy Pete Lombardi gave me. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that's all... Uh, that's all messed up over here, you know, and he tried to uh, duct tape it, and it's uh, yucky, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I bought um, another seat cover for that. Now, at the time, I thought I was going to pay another $21. However, if you just keep looking, right, there's actually dudes that sell two for 22 So this, that's what I did, man. Uh, I didn't need one at the time, but I figured, hey, you know, if I spent 21 on that before... I'd be happy to spend 22 to get two, you know what I'm saying? I'll need one eventually, you know. So uh, I bought that one there for that. And now, you know, while I was waiting for this, of course, I got this tractor. And boy, oh boy, does that need a, uh, a seat cover, you know what I'm saying? So uh, as for parts, you know, I just showed you how to look up parts to get the exact right uh, part. I'm not going to buy it for 30, 40 bucks because um, I think it's pretty close. Um, so uh, from yesterday's video, Chris from Chris's Small Engines was uh, giving me hell about you know how it was when it was going straight, the steering wheel wasn't lined up, you know. So I did this for you, Chris. You basically just lift this cover over here, and there's a nut. You undo the nut, take the whole steering wheel right off, line it up straight. And then there you go. That's for you, Chris, from Chris's Small Engines. I was also asked to uh, give a little update on my lawn tractors from uh, G. Holsher 746. I think that's right, G. Holsher. So, all right, uh, I'll give you an update. I have uh, six lawn tractors now. This Murray here is in mint condition. All it needs is a what? That's right, an engine! I've been looking for a few months for an engine. Can't get one. Um, because it's usually attached to a riding mower, right? And then if I get that and take that engine, well, guess what? I'm stuck with another riding mower without an engine. So, I just need to get an engine. This is the uh, Husqvarna 21K46. That's ready to go also. This was given to me by my buddy, Pete Lombardi. Um, I want, like... Uh, 800 for it, but I don't think I'm going to get 800 for it. I'm asking a little bit too much. The reason why is because I did engine work to it and it took me hours, days. So I feel like I need to be compensated for the time, you know what I mean? But in the end, I'll probably just get rid of it for like 600 or something like that. I'll sell it for 600, you know, but right now I'm going to try to get seven or eight or something like that. 
this uh, original Husqvarna that I got a while back, you know, this is the uh, 2448T hydrostatic. Remember, I got this without wheels. Um, Pete Lombardi gave me wheels, and uh, I fixed everything up, and uh, this one's ready to go. I wanted like 900 for this, but only because of the, uh, you know, it's got the 24 twin engine in it, man. It runs so smooth. It runs so smooth that it runs like a car. That's how smooth it runs, all right? I mean, if I if I really wanted to, but it's a waste, I'd take that engine and put it on that. Because that's a better condition tractor over there. That's a garden tractor, see? Anyway, so I want like 9 for that. I'll probably drop it down to 7. Or whatever. Whoever makes me a good enough offer that I'll just, you know, get rid of it. I, I really need to get rid of stuff, right, guys? I'm sure you agree. This one here... Uh, Man, that's nice, isn't it? This is actually the newest tractor I've ever had. This is like a 2011, all right? That's beautiful, you know? I want like 950 for it, but I know I'm not going to get it, you know? I might keep this because this actually fits in my backyard. But it's up for 950, you know? This is uh, my beauty. You know, I've had this for 16 years with the white walls, the Murray. This one runs perfect, immaculate, mint. There's nothing wrong with it. Actually, never, nothing's ever been wrong with it because I always keep take care of it. You know what I'm saying? So I actually put this up for like six fifty. Comes with the bagger system. It's a good deal. It's cool with the white walls. I just uh, power washed this. Uh, somewhat fixed the uh, toe out problem. Uh, I fixed it probably eighty percent. Still toes out a little bit, but you know what? It's good enough, man. Really, drive straight. Um, and as long as you're not driving it on the highway or the you know, asphalt or something like that. I mean, it's a lawnmower. You know what I'm saying? It's fine. Anyway, uh, so I fixed that. Uh, fixed that. I'm going to just simply put on a seat cover onto here, right? And uh, that'll be good. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm also going to buff a little bit of this out because, I mean, uh, even though I power washed it, still looks kind of yucky, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, faded and stuff. Uh, sides are okay, because the sides are never really impacted by the sun directly. You follow what I'm saying? Um, if you look at there, you can still see a glossy shine. But if you go over here, it's very dull, because it's, if it's parked outside, the sun's just beating on the top like that. Full penetration, you know? Actually, that looks kind of yucky, too. So, I'm going to find something, you know, maybe uh, some Simon Eyes or... Um, oh. You guys ever use Mother's Synthetic Wax? That, that stuff is really good. I mean, for my car it is, you know, but um, I'm going to give it a try. Anyway, so uh, G. Holst Holscher 746, that's my update on the six lawn tractors that I have that uh, I'm slowly selling. I'm in no rush, guys. Uh, I guess you can call me a tractor hoarder, you know. Um, I, I do need to get rid of some, honestly, because I seriously can't park any more in here, you know. But um, anyway, I hope uh, this video uh, that helps you look up uh, the exact parts for your tractor helps out. And um, I, I know that I'm always able to find the exact part for whatever, whether it be lawnmowers, snowblowers, you know, any small engine equipment. That's how you look it up. Um, in cases where you get an item that has no sticker, you know. That's missing or it's uh, scratched up or it's faded and you can't make out that number uh, there's really nothing you can do except for maybe look throughout the entire um, tractor and look for a big part big parts usually have some kind of engraved numbers on it and try to match that up with the internet somehow just to at least um, confirm and look at the type of tractor if you look at it and go yep that's mine that's exactly my tractor you know then you can kind of trace the number to um, that part that you're searching for but uh, yeah uh, a lot of people don't think it's that important but you know if you're looking for parts and you don't have the exact model number to the um, equipment that you have it's gonna be difficult to find parts for because uh, these manufacturers make very um, similar year models you know um, that, I mean, that tractor may look, they may make two or three different years of that tractor. It looks exactly the same, but the parts might be different and the part numbers might be different. But uh, with Craftsman, though, um, not really. Um, their stuff is pretty close to many years. Anyway, I hope this uh, video helps, and uh, we'll see you guys next time on uh, Mowers and Blowers.